Hey guys, Lesha Prepper and welcome to another video. Today I have something very special because as you know, I interviewed Liz Kern, Elizabeth Cox, aka Jennifer Ross in Intruder a couple of weeks ago. If you still haven't seen that uh, interview, go check it out right now. But she sent me some very exclusive, rare photos that are never seen before anywhere online. So they were first online here on Slasher Pepper, seen first on Slasher Pepper. And these are some behind the scenes photos from Intruder. So I'll just go through them right now. You're watching my good fiend, Roger Walker on Slasher Pepper. <laughs> Enjoy. <laughs> on the first photo you can see the cover of the screenplay as you can see it still has the original title night crew uh, this also shows us the year the screenplay was written 1987 now here are two photos you'll just have to read for yourself just pause right here and read it for yourself if you're a big fan of the film you'll know these scenes by reading the screenplay um, nothing too interesting though it just just pause and read it for yourself. Now here's uh, how Liz Kern got these photos. Shortly after filming Intruder, Rene Estevez gave these photos, which you are about to see to Liz and probably some of the other cast and crew as well. I just love that it says, just a few photos to remember a fast killing by. This makes you wonder, are there rare behind the scenes photos of Sleepaway Camp 2 as well? Since Rene was also in that movie. On the first photo, you can see Lawrence Bender and Danny Hicks. He's almost unrecognizable because of those glasses. Here we have a photo of Lawrence Bender and Lily Parker. Lily Parker was Liz's acting coach. Here's a photo of Liz with Beth. Beth was the makeup artist. You'll see her in some of the gory shots later. This photo shows Renee and Liz on a car. If you look behind the car, you can tell that it's behind the Walnut Lake Market. Now I really like this photo. Ted Raimi with makeup artist Beth getting ready to die. Don't you just love the vintage Sprite and Minute Maid bottles in the back as well? Though blurry, this photo is really cool as well. You got Scott Spiegel with Danny the manager's hat. I just imagine myself taking these kind of photos once I work in a business as well. Oh, and here's a close-up of Danny's head. Here, again, we have Beth. This time working on a makeup for Dave. This is the cut made by the meat cleaver right before he's killed with the bandsaw. Here's a sculpt of Dave's head, about to be cut in half. Yikes. I love this photo. I'm not sure who the person is on the machine, but he's setting up Produce Joe's body. Of course, this is the scene where Jennifer runs to the machine, sees Joe lying on it, and all of a sudden the body falls apart. This is from the scene where Jennifer slides down and sees the remains of Tim. <laughs> Tonight, this supermarket is having a sale. All heads, health off. I love how realistic the head looks, even with bright lights. They didn't need to hide it in the dark or hide it with cheap cuts. Luckily, they didn't do that in the film. Here's a cool photo of Officer Matthews, Jennifer and Bill. The late great Danny Hicks getting in character for his next scene. Back off a bit Danny. You shouldn't kill the director. Lawrence Bender and Bruce Campbell are getting ready to arrest the... <coughs> killers. <laughs> so yeah, these are all the photos that I had. Again, if you haven't seen the interview yet, go check it out right now. I'll link it in the corner right above. So, um... Please check it out, it's a great interview. Once I reach 100 members on my Facebook group, I will be doing a giveaway exclusive to the Facebook group members, so make sure you join the group. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. See ya. You're a piece of